Hello Aries, this is your December 2018 reading. As you know, it will not resonate with all Aries individuals, but I'm hoping to reach the majority of you, okay? So this is for Aries, December 2018. General reading for the masses. Aries, December 2018 for the masses. Possible Wheel of Fortune coming in. Possible good luck, but I have to keep on shuffling. If, it, it's, if it's meant to be, it'll come out again. Like I said, this is for Aries, December 2018. Let's see what the beginning energy is. Trying to get these all out before actually December. But it is Mercury in retrograde, and I had a few uh, glitches with my at least my iPhone. Got the full card in the upright, new beginnings, jumping into new beginnings, endeavors, entrepreneurs, or just something new. You just want your excitement, something that is adventurous. Beginning energy, or beginning energy, I should, I should say the subject at hand is the Prince of Swords in reverse. What's crossing the Prince of Swords is an offer. So you may be having trouble making a new offer to the Prince of Swords. It's the Prince of Swords. It's in reverse, and that could be your air energy or someone taking on an air energy. It could be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. But it's like, uh, it could be like I said, you're trying to make them an offer, a new offer, a stable offer, or they're wanting to make you one. But the person, for some reason, is not cooperating, maybe. Your goal is to put an end to something. Put it to rest. Cut it out of your life. The why, the foundation here, it's because you didn't have a victory with it. You didn't feel like it's lucrative that you will win in this situation. In the past, you're coming in out of anxiety. Something must have caused it to begin with, but you're coming out of anxiety. Near future, coming out of disappointment. That's a good thing. Now I'm going to put four more cards out here for outside environment and the distant future, but I want to deal with what's at hand at first. We'll see what's going on for December. Now, like I said, you have the Prince of Swords. I said Princess earlier, I think. With the Ace of Dis crossing it. That's like someone's not offering a stable beginning with this. Or they're having trouble offering it, I should say. Because you did have the Fool card going into something new as beginning energy. But you may be cutting something else out or you may be cutting it out. Let's find out for sure. Prince of Swords with the Ace of Disc. Why are you there for Aries? Hmm. Your ain't, it's a Sun card. It's in the upright. Either you're wanting to make this offer or get this offer to make yourself happy. But like I said, someone is not... I, I, I'm saying cooperate because Prince of Swords, when they're in reverse, doesn't like to cooperate. Or they're... Um, their communications are way off. I'm going to get another card for that. Prince of Swords, Ace of Discs with the Sun card. In the upright, why are you there? It's a positive thing you're wanting. But you may cut it out. It has to do with another person. Knight of Wands. This could be you. Or another Aries. Leo or Sagittarius or someone taking on an energy. So I'm thinking there's some kind of collaboration going on with the Knight of Wands. They got a lot of energy. It's in the upright. And they have a way of getting things done more than anybody else because of that energy and strength and enthusiasm. But they're dealing with somebody who isn't. Let's find out what the death card is, the ending card. For the goal, you're just cutting something out. You're wanting to anyway. The death card, why are you there? Why is that the goal for Aries? The 
You're no longer going to be holding back, I should say, or just keeping to yourself. You're going to express yourself and cut something out. It's not telling me much that you're very much coming out of keeping the, that thought to yourself. You're going to express cutting something out, possibly verbally. Yeah, you may not um, be the most cordial person when you do it because you got the Prince of Wands in reverse, as you know. I said it again, or before, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, <clears throat> or someone taking out on an energy. You may get real, you're real irritated with something, and you're coming out of um, these thoughts that you've been keeping to yourself, and you're thinking, I'm going to cut this out of my life, whatever it is. You, know, you can leave it in the comments. If, you know, everybody's going to be a little different. I'm reading for the masses, but that is the goal, is to cut out things that you feel are no longer serving you. <clears throat> now, as a foundation, you got the Six of Wands. It's in reverse. So the reason could be because you didn't get a victory on something. Let's find out more. Six of Wands, why are you there? As the foundation in reverse. Want to come out of feeling chained to this certain situation? Whatever it is, it's a devil in reverse. And out of oppression. You didn't get a victory, so now you just want to cut it out and come out come out of feeling oppressed by the situation. It was a burden. You feel like it's a burden. Whatever you didn't get a victory on, or whoever didn't get a victory around you maybe, is cutting this off because wanting to become unchained because it's very impressive. And you got the ten of uh, wands in reverse there also. That means coming out of oppression. You want to come out of feeling stuck with this non-victory situation, like I said. In the past, you got the Nine of Swords in reverse. Nine of Swords in reverse, why are you there? Completion, coming out of anxiety, deciding you're going to go for what you want, your happiness, your happy home, your surroundings. You know, I'm thinking you're going to cut something out. You are. Death in reverse again. Something tries to resurrect all the time and irritate you and try to cause you anxiety, which it did in the past. But you're you're pulling yourself away from that because you're going for the happiness, the happy home. You want your surroundings where you're living to be content and not have people irritate you. So in some ways, this could be a family situation. It could be a work situation, too, because it could be your work environment, your happy situation in a work environment at times. But most of the time, it's at home. And, I'm, you know, I'm seeing you tired of giving, possibly, to the Prince of Swords. And a few of you, if you're doing this to somebody, they may be Tired of taking it from you just for a few of you. If you're the one that's causing the irritation. But in the near future, disappointment is in reverse. Five of Cups, why are you there? I can move some of this over. Coming out of disappointment has to do with the Queen of Disc, who is a very... Um, stable person. They usually financially secure. Usually got things all straightened out in life. So you're coming out of disappointment. Now this could be you. You could be taking on this energy of the Queen of Disc, becoming more independent, stable, like I said, financially, looked well upon the community in the future. Coming out of disappointment, you may be just putting this all behind you because you may very well cut something out. It also could be that you're involved with an earth sign or someone taking on that energy. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Now get another card for the Five of Cups and the Queen of Disc. Why are you there? Hmm. May become involved with somebody. You may decide. For a few of you, 
may decide to come out of disappointment with a lover <clears throat> that is like the queen of this that takes on that energy. Sorry, my voice keeps on going. <clears throat> but there is a lover type situation. You come out of uh, disappointment with a lover. Maybe you won't cut it off after all. Maybe you'll go back and uh, rectify the situation just for a few of you. That could be also why the death card is in reverse here. If someone was to resurrect something and you're thinking about cutting it off because you're disappointed of everything, you're thought of it as a burden, you're thinking I can't win in this situation with the victory in reverse here, the foundation, but you do come out of disappointment. Some of you, you may go back to a certain person, or you may find somebody new. It depends. It's going to be different. We've got a lot of different areas here. The lover's card, some say like a soulmate type of card, but it doesn't have to be. You're just somebody you desire in a precious way. Now, the poss this is, could be the possible future outcome, too. Or the advice from the universe. It's the Ten of Cups. It has, it's like it's like it's saying things haven't come to full conclusion yet. You're still going to work on this happily ever after, and it could be the universe telling you you haven't reached your goal in that yet. You got to work on it a little bit longer. Ten of Cups. Why are you there? Ten of Cups in reverse. Why are you there? Now, if you want to turn your fortune around, a fortunate situation around, you're going to have to work on this Ten of Cups, this satisfying, overall satisfying with your life that you're wanting. You're going to have to make your happiness. You're going to have to work for this happiness. Sometimes you have to work on it. Yeah, come out of feeling like you just want to take a break. Some of you, if you want this happiness, is telling you, like I said, you're going to have to go for it. You're going to have to stop taking a break, stop hiding from the world. Not really as in, in a cave or anything like that. You just got to get out there. Sorry, I got to move this stuff around so I can get to you. Need more room. What's coming towards you is a Prince of Cups. That could be a water type energy. Could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or someone, like I said, just taking on an energy. They're in the upright. Let's find out what they're about. Princess of Cups, why are you coming towards Aries? Someone may be argumentative. She's in the upright, but she's irritated. Or he's irritated. Because they thinking that maybe they're, they're angry over a third party. Maybe this person is angry with you over a third party situation. Or they just feel heartbroken over you. And they may argue with you. Because you got the five of swords next to her. And the Three of Swords, she's not a terrible person, or he's not a terrible person, but they're very argumentative, and they're very hurt. They have a lot of sorrow. <clears throat> or, <clears throat> for some of you, this person may have gotten into an argument with somebody over a possible, you know, sorrowful situation, a heartbreaking situation, and they may be coming to you out of comfort for some of you, because she's in the upright. He's in the upright. doesn't matter which sex, it's... They are coming towards you, Aries, a water energy. And they're usually a little bit younger. Always see uh, the Princess of Cups as a very kind person, if that gives you any clues. I mean, that's hard to say. Your hopes and fears, three of wands, I think it's a hope. You're wanting your ships to come in, good things to come in with the three of wands. That's what it stands for, positive things. And success, there's nothing wrong with that. These are things you're wanting. And sometimes the things you're wanting, you can manifest. And there you are, the Princess of Wands. 
So you're wanting your ships to come in and have success and be happy and have full of energy. The final distant outcome, you get gain. Get what you want. That's what I meant when sometimes you can really manifest these things because you can. This is a man of pentacles. This is right before the ten of pentacles when you get everything you want. You're still working on it. Remember what I said, what the universe says. You're going to have to work on it. And I felt that strongly. It's not something that's going to come to you just because. Nine of Pentacles, why are you there as the outcome for Aries? Good card, excellent card. We're going to find out the why this is happening. Prince of Swords, maybe the Prince of Swords uh, reverses itself. I'm trying to stick to me. Prince of Swords is an air energy. Remember we had one in the beginning that's turned around. And that you were trying to offer something, a deal of some sort. And um, I'm thinking you're going to get something from this. Could be the same Prince of Swords. And he turns around. Um, Aries, Leo, I mean, Aries, <coughs> not Aries, <coughs> Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. So you're going to have gain. It has something to do with this Prince of Swords. Finally turned up right. Unless it's a different type of air energy. Maybe it's a different air sign. But it's coming. Gain is coming. Good things are coming. Yeah, you're no longer stagnant. No longer holding, holding, you know, standing around waiting for something to happen. It's going to happen. But remember, work for it. Also know you got somebody coming towards you argumentative or wanting to come or needing comfort from you. It'll be different for everybody a little bit. Everybody's going to have a slightly different story here. Because I am reading for the masses, like I said, but you get gain with the, and it has to do, like I said, the Prince of Swords, and you're no longer stagnant with the situation. And you got the Two of Wands as a final outcome energy. So the Two of Wands is uh, taking domination, taking control, getting what you want, deciding what you want, and going for it. Remember in the very beginning, energy, we had a new beginning or jumping into something new, I should say, with the Fool card. Looks like you're going to do it if you work for it. You are dealing with a few people here. I see air and water. Your own sign, fire. Earth. We see earth here. That could be, like I said, you taking on that energy of independence. So good things are coming. Little itty bitty stagnations here. Nothing you can't handle. You're a little irritated. You're thinking you may cut something off. But I'm thinking, whatever is going to occur, if you work hard enough for it, you will succeed and take control and domination. And that is your reading. And I will be back before the middle of De December, hopefully. And I'll talk to you later, Aries, and I uh, congratulations on your reading. Bye.